let's look at how to begin learning scales on guitar. Scales are really important. Even as beginners, we often start by learning chords, but two things happen. Sometimes in learning those chords, the repetition causes our fingers to really hurt. Why? Because we haven't quite developed those calluses yet that are so important to keep those chords sounding good. The other thing that can happen is those chords will sometimes have buzzes. Again, that's due to our lack of finger strength. So while we're working on both of those attributes to strengthen our hands, scales are a great way to fill in the gap and they teach us some really important things. What I have for you in the video today is a chart showing two things. The first is a pattern. If you learn this pattern, you'll be able to play any scale all the way up the fretboard. This first scale starts in the key of F sharp, but we move up one fret, now we're in G, we move up two frets, we're in A. So the pattern is really important to memorize. The second part of the chart teaches you another really important skill to learn now. This has to do with fingering. You'll notice on the, on the first beginning of that pattern, I actually have a two, my second finger on the second fret, then I skip a fret, and I use my fourth finger on the fourth fret, then the next note I play in the scale is on the first fret of the next string, so that's where I need my first finger. So I go one, two, I skip a fret, so I skip a finger. I go to the fourth fret and use my fourth finger. Now I'm on the next string. Skip a fret. And I've just played one octave. Now, this particular finger pattern is really important because just like the pattern I showed you of the dots on the first chart, the fing this fingering pattern also can work all the way up the guitar. So when you learn the pattern, also learn the next step would be to learn the fingering. These are transferable. No matter where you play on the neck, using that pattern with the fingerings I've shown you, you'll be able to play in any key. This is the major scale we're teaching. In the future, we'll look at pentatonic scales, which are probably much more common actually when you play leads. But for today, we want to take a look at how to get started learning scales. So we have two things. We have a pattern we want to memorize, and then we have fingerings we want to keep organized as well. Very simply, my first finger maps to the first fret. My second finger maps to the second fret. Third finger maps to the third fret. And fourth finger maps to the fourth fret. 